Here we go, starting off CNG break 12, uh, 14,242. Ultra. Yeah, and if you notice that, Michael, like, their pricing specifically, a lot of their hockey stuff is is significantly higher now than it, uh, like than ours and most other Canadians. It's now because they're getting less product and uh, the way it changed a bit, now they, uh, now they just sell it differently, which is nice. Difference makers! Oh, Vatchkin, rookie year difference makers, Ovi. Like, don't get me wrong though, Michael, there's always going to be dealers that are going to try to bend the rules, and the thing is, to me, it's just not worth it. Like, I've had guys ask me to buy cup cases. It's not worth selling a $5,000 case to lose my entire business. Crosby scoring Kings. I'm liking the insert so far. Scoring Kings of Mike Richards for the Flyers. I really hope I can get a Crosby or a uh, Ovi rookie. We've got a Bogard for the Minnesota Wild rookie. Olaf Kolzig for the Caps. Nice. That was a good question, Michael. That's a good question. I always like good questions. Rookie uniformity. Brad Lebda. Uniformity for the Red Wings. Scoring Kings of Forsberg for the Philadelphia Flyers. Finalist of Belfour for the Hawks. And we've got for the Habs, Perijogan. Uh Jonah, the easiest way to know when things will be ready, Friday afternoon is generally the best pickup day. So anything before that would be ready. Peros for the LA Kings. LA Kings, Peros. So Friday is the best day to pick up. Gordy Howe for the Red Wings. No worries. You missed a troll already. Georges for the Sharks. So the one thing, Brandon, whenever you call out a troll, they generally leave. Because they don't have anything else to say other than to try to get people riled up. That's one thing you'll always notice. The other thing you'll always notice, it's just always fun things that I've learned over the years, is a troll always will say the same thing. They have no other things to say. We've got a Slater for the Jets rookie. So when they get confronted, it's always going to be the same line of, if you don't agree with Jeff, you're, you know, you're a troll, blah, blah, blah. Dolman for the Boston Bruins. Literally to a T, that's how they always work. If you confront them and you actually ask them questions, they generally never, ever answer them because they were trolling you. That's all they cared about. School knee for the Philadelphia Flyers. School knee. Leves. We've got a finalist of Yager. <laughs> Very true. And a finalist of Gretzky for the Oilers. Oh, for sure, Mario. At the end of the day, that's all point is they, they 
you know, we've done this for, what, 11 years now? 14,000 breaks. God knows how many nights I've been on here. It's literally the same things over and over again. Now, even if I remember correctly, I remember the one time, I think it was even him, when they're, I said, like, ask any questions, I'll answer whatever. And he asked if, like, Universal had part of my business. And I said no. And he's like, well, they probably do. You're getting defensive. L.A. Kings finalist of Gretzky. The thing is, he wouldn't take my honest answer as an honest answer. You know, like, at the end of the day, to me, it's like, I would love it if Universal could own part of my business. I want more product. I would be happy if they did. We've got a scoring Kings, Mike Madonna. Mike Madonna, Dallas Stars. But the problem is they never listen to your answer. They always just listen to theirs, so. Scoring Kings of Joe Thornton for the Boston Bruins. But it's a common occurrence. I'm sure guys like B. Golden hear it all the time. If the Habs don't do well, automatically they suck. Because apparently the Habs are going to win the Cup every year. Finalist of Iserman. And if the Leafs don't win the Cup every year, we suck as well. Finalist of Makita for the Hawks. And even if the Leafs did win the Cup, do you know what the next statement would be? Well, they've only got one cup win in 50 years. That's literally what the next statement would be from them. They would completely blow over because now they have nothing else to worry about. So, trolls just leech from comment to comment. Uh, my favorite card that I pulled in a break. That's a good question, actually. I'm trying to think right now. Give me a second to think about it. I don't know if I per se have a favorite one. But there's definitely ones... Sackick for the Avalanche. So, Corey Perry for the Anaheim Ducks. Yeah, both teams suck. Who cares? So, here's the thing. I don't necessarily Jordan have favorite cards, but when a product comes out, Mazaros for the Ottawa Senators rookie. I would always, always, always love to open the biggest card in that product. That would make me the happiest. I love just the exposure it gets. I love what it does for the hobby. I love the pullback from people who get mad that we open it. So I do enjoy getting the biggest cards possible. Um, we've opened some really cool cards. I'm not going to lie. So Super 6 of Thornton for the Boston Bruins. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I literally, Jordan, you kind of have me stumped on that one. I don't know if I have a favorite. I really don't know if I have a favorite. We've got a ballistic for the Blue Jackets rookie. I will say I did open up, I think, a color-coded Matthews out of five. That one I was pretty jacked up about. But again, that's more of a personal one, right? Burke Hole for the Jets, rookie. Awesome, man. Nice. That's awesome. Finalist of Thornton for the Boston Bruins. We've got a scoring Kings for the Nashville Predators, Paul Correa. We've got for the Oilers, Winchester. Oilers, Winchester. We've got a Mark Streit for the Montreal Canadiens rookie. Yeah, the one thing, Jordan, going on questions that always annoys me, the amount of times dealers just straight out, like, lie about things to other people just to make themselves look good. Mario Lemieux for the Penguins. So I always try to honestly answer the questions, obviously, that I can answer, like, 
straight up. So if you guys ever have legit questions about the hobby, that obviously, you know, I can't be bashing companies or go go that route, right? But if you have honest questions, I'll try to answer it as honestly as possible. Difference makers of Jeff Carter for the Philadelphia Flyers. We've got Anastiuk for the Carolina Hurricanes. And big finish. Some of these cards are super, super sticky. And LaBase. 